Hi, Lee Ellis here with this month's coaching. We're still walking through the articles of the Honor Code, and this month we're on number four, Be Ethical. Being ethical is about following the laws of the land, living within the guidelines of your profession, operating by the policies of your organization, doing the things that you know are right and you should be doing or not doing. So, we obviously assume that we always do the right thing. We're all very ethical people, right? Well, until uh, I'm really uh, pressed for time to get to that meeting and I see this parking spot and there's a little sign there about uh, you know, possibly being towed if I park there for more than 45 minutes uh, or maybe being fined. And then my mind is going through one side, I want to do the right thing, and the other side is I also don't want to pay the, pay the fine, so to speak, for the crime. So, in this case, they both helped me out to make the right decision and not park there. But it's certainly a temptation, and we all face those kind of temptations every day. You know, when I think about being ethical, the one person who always comes to my mind, because he represents so many of us, is Jeb Magruder. Jeb Magruder was an attorney. In fact, he was the White House counsel during the Watergate era. You remember that under President Nixon, don't you? Well, I do. I was uh, around in those days. And the thing that impressed me about him was, um, I read his book after he got out of jail. He went to jail, paid, paid the price for his crime. But here's what he said. Somewhere between my ambition and my ideal, so he was caught between doing the right thing and being ambitious and maybe taking a shortcut to get to where he wanted to go. Somewhere between my ambitions and my ideals, I lost my ethical compass. I found myself on a path that had not been intended for me by my parents or my principles or by my own ethical standards. Well, if it can happen to Jeb Magruder, we can all lose sight of true north on our ethical compass. In fact, we can go all the way around 180 degrees to the false south, so to speak, in our ethical compass. We don't want to do that, but it surely can happen because we're human beings. We're all vulnerable. So we have to stay in the fight and fight to be ethical. Now, I want to give you this month three quick points on how to stay in the fight and be ethical. Number one is be aware. See, Jeb Magruder was not aware of his situation and his self-awareness of here's who I am and here's what I'm actually going to be doing and somehow he rationalized. And the human being is very good at rationalizing. You know, when somebody else has a problem, it's their character. When we have a problem, oh, we have a little problem here, but it's not the same. So we rationalize. That self-awareness that's going on inside, that time for reflection, sometimes having enough self-awareness maybe to even get counsel from someone else. I mean, if he'd gotten some counsel from someone outside his circle that time, maybe he would have avoided that. So self-awareness is very important. Reputation and character are tied into that. Being aware of the reputation uh, of, that's what others see in us in the military, we were told to avoid even the appearance of wrongdoing because it would affect our reputation in the community and our reputation it would reflect on our uniform and the service in our country. So avoid the appearance of wrongdoing. But character is deeper than that. It's who we really are and what our motivations are. And are we fighting to maintain and live up to the good motivations and fight off the bad motivations, which we all have from time to time. So that's self-awareness and being intentional. Intentional is that top of mind awareness of who I am and what I'm committed to be. And that leads me to the last point of being uh, committed. What is your identity? Who are you committed to be? That's an amazing question when you stop and think about it. That question makes me stop dead in my tracks sometimes when I think about who am I committed to be? And what is the cost of the decisions I'm making? The reality is, you know, we are role models. Whether we like it or not, we're all role models to other people. And as a leader, especially we're role models, and everybody's watching their leader. Or your teammate. Your teammates are watching you. How do you handle yourself in situations? And they're going to either increase their trust and respect for you, or it's going to go down. And also, your example for younger leaders, that's going to be what they try to live up to. And if it's a negative one, if they see you cutting corners, they're going to say it's okay to cut a few corners. That's what people do nowadays, you know? That's how you get ahead. So be aware, be intentional, and be committed. Especially committed to being the person that you say you are and that you want to be. 
That will help you stay in the battle. That will help you be an ethical person and live and lead with honor. Now, I've written a blog on this uh, same subject. Go a little deeper. Hope you'll check it out. You'll find the link here on the page.